Hello. Time to play some more XCOM. I couldn't keep myself from playing anymore, and this time we'll play it with the Long War mod, Beta 13. And this will be a lot slower progress than with the vanilla game, uh, mainly because it's gonna take something like a couple hundred hours to finish the campaign. I'm not totally sure I will. And I can play maybe 30 to 60 hours per month. Optimally a little more. But. So that means it'll be slow. Anyway, let's go set it up. I think we will go with classic. And we will keep put all the DLC because I actually missed the progeny ending mission. Um Oh, okay, good. Okay, I'm getting yelled at that I should use normal. Okay. Okay, I'll give in. Yeah, I guess these are fine. Now, we want aiming angles. We want... Where is it? Training roulette. I haven't played with this yet. I don't know about hidden potential, but I do like the the uh, um, uh, original. I mean, the starting stats randomized. Was it here somewhere? Ah. Yeah, it was reversed on Long War, so, yeah. Not so long or yeah, that too, because I still don't have a lot of time on my hands to pour into this. Even though most likely the result is that I will never finish this alive. Right, I guess this will be I sort of would like absolutely critical, but I know I will be so heavily raped for this, so I will not. I guess those second wave options are fine. And yeah, let's do this. I guess we can skip these. So for what I know is that you're gonna have a lot more expense on the aircrafts. They get destroyed, stuff like that. Oh, they've changed these. Hmm. And in this mod you also get to uh, gain back the lock council withdrawal countries by having a, uh, assaulting a base in them. Um, I don't know what it exactly makes it happen, but you can. So it's not going to work 
I mean, it's not necessary to think of the continent as you can lose it. I mean, it is more countries that you can lose without losing a continent bonus, so that still applies. Let's see. The ones that are easier to unlock are more worthwhile. To, I mean, uh, the the ones that are harder to unlock are more worthwhile as a starting country, especially here because the satellites cost a lot. Somehow I still feel that Europe would be nice, but I already played a Europe game in the vanilla, so I kind of kind of want different. This was already I had the same. So North America here is most popular, and I understand exactly why this is really really good, even though it's 70% in this mod, not 50. Asia would be sort of interesting because it's so big. This is not a decision to make, like, oh. although this would also be really good. The money is really tight in Long War 2, maybe even more so than Vanilla. And North America will give you a bigger starting pool of money. I guess this will be really strong, so I might want to start in Africa. Yeah, I have only three countries. And this had what? Um, India, China, Japan, Australia. Hmm. I guess I will do this. Let's start in Africa. Cheaper to maintain. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, let's do this. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Suddenly I understand the red shirt term in Long War. All the rookies are red shirts, right? How fitting. They look like gene mods. One. This is central. Oh, Free hello, Mel. All hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. I quite dislike this map. However, my dislike has mostly come, come with flying enemies. I doubt we'll have flying enemies to start. Okay, we have two guys with more health than the others. Let's see their stats. Low will. But high offense. Same ish? No, not not exactly the same. Kong Pan. He's really bad. He's really, really bad. He's even oh well has high defense though. But that, that guy, Ariana Marinon, you are bad. Um 
Bob, Bob Reynolds is not too good either, but not too bad. Larsen. High, high, high defense. High offense, low will. Will we can actually fix. I think I like Mona Larsen. No, don't tell me you... Yeah, you did. My mouse button is... I mean, the keybinds have reset. Now, better. So let's go quickly through once again. Carl Lang is really good, in my opinion. Mona Larsen is also quite good. Marina is super bad. Reynolds is okay-ish. Van is super bad. Sean Harrington is okay. So yeah, we can sacrifice Reynolds and Pan, if needed. So what I see now is that we have different sets of stuff. We got AP grenades on some different amounts, we got a med kit here, and somebody had a frag, or oh, HE, okay. Okay, expendables go first. Marino. Yep. Let's see if we can get a high aim unit top on the top there actually. Heading to that location. Nobody yet, that's good. Harrington, you pick it up. Got the goods. All right. Expendables go where expendables I'm on the move. can go. Oh yeah, we had steady weapon. And the rest go overwatch. I hear them on the right side channel. Mm, that's weird. Okay, that's the steady weapon icon, I guess. Marino, go forward. Still nothing. By the way, I've never been on this map further than this point. Moving. 
already there. Actually, why did I do that? No way. It's already done. Roger that. Affirmative. So yeah, the movement ranges differ as well. Can't really see it here. That's stupid. What? What was that? How they? Alien life what? on Earth. We're witnessing something. Recorded history. Oh yeah, the car is high cover. That car. They were behind it. That's why. That's why I heard them on the right hand channel. Oh well, it's not too bad. Let's see. At least it starts interesting. Actually, he's very fast. Who had the heavy explosive? You. You're also the expendable. Okay. Twelve person to hit. That's just not good. Such a long distance distance throw. Twenty eight. Oh man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use a grenade here. Moving out. Actually think the other aliens are behind that side, so... This might hit more than one, but probably only one. Instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. I will not. It will not be considered. Okay. How do we get guys there easiest? Moving out. You are expendable, so you get to flank. Position 
not quite, quite worth it. Okay, you had relatively high aim, so you can be on overwatch. How's your throw, actually? Yeah. Let's just do that. Catch. Just one left. Now I hear it on the left. They're trying to pull back. Well, that suits me just fine. Yeah, you're an okay dude. How good is your shot from there? That might actually be better. Nah, let's tr try this. 78. Whoa. Wow. Okay, that's. Their weapons appear to self destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Have to learn that it's now 8 in increments of 1 eighth. Art when you turn the camera. Moving. Auf dem Weg. Offense 85? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a steady aim. Hello. That is quite fine because now I know they're there. Okay, let's not put two expendables in the way. Doesn't sound like very Asian. It's affirmative. <laughs> Come on, come this way. I'm waiting. Oh, more. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Was it like six enemies right now? We're talking. Now we're Ooh. talking. So if you go there, you might be able to kill that and then you will be a hero. Also, you're the expendable one, so... Why can't I move there? No, yeah, there's an enemy there, that's why. So yeah, if you move there, you're actually quite... Excuse me, that's full cover? Or or do they have low cover? I mean, low profile. They do, it seems. Or... No, that is... I don't know. Just quad leader. 
Your shot is actually pretty good. How's your throw? I'm sure. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Thirty-four. Miserable. Miserable. I find it actually quite okay if I go there. The others can keep them from coming too close. Besides, they are not visible from anywhere else but the edge. Hmm, you're in full cover though, so you don't want to move from there. Where's Pan? Pan is there. Pan can't help much. Okay, Lange is slow. Alright, uh, well, not actually very slow. It's just because he has to go around that. Oh, that will be flanked by those guys so easily. This is better. Okay, I think we're gonna have to admit that we need to use grenades. So how much does the HE do? 3 damage. So it'll not kill that enemy there. Let's move another unit there first. Oh yeah, it's all, only her. Yeah, I, I thought so. You won't see anyone from there, so you're good to use the grenade. And if it doesn't kill, there's still a 60% chance to hit it. Come on! Don't snap. Wow, five on that. How's our expendable hero? Do it! Nice! Yeah, go there. Okay. Oh! Oh! Well, there's no cover. That's not too good. It would be nice, but you're dead before you get to do anything. Or maybe not. Let's see. Uh, that is really risky because you probably don't have range or line of sight or either. So that's not that's that's for snipers really. I don't like the feeling <laughs> of these three guys here. You don't see anyone from there, but you can go there. Okay. 
Uh, oh, such miserable shots you are. Let's try to survive this round rather. Closer. Oh, that's a squad leader. <laughs> so I would guess there's one in Overwatch. There, that's in, those are both in Overwatch. So let's see. They'll both. Both get to shoot by anyone at anyone who moves. Where's our expendable? Even though his movement range is huge, so in a way I kind of still like him. Yeah, he'll die from one shot, so. The only use we have is to. Well, let's expand expand the grenades first. To be honest. No! Did I just miss it by a pixel? I did. I did. Missed by a pixel. Well, that feels good, man. That feels real good. Can we do this with him? Um, the range is gonna screw this up. And next you're gonna get flanked. However, this is full cover so you can safely move. Should be able to safely move. Uh, Actually, no, not 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 that. That. Let's do this. They'll want to move. So they still have way too much overwatch there. Can I get both? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> One. And oh, that didn't hit. How did that not hit? It was red when I clicked. Okay, you get you get a sight on that. You can't move there on cover. So stay in overwatch. You also see that guy. I think you're the medic, so you need to just hunt her down. And as for you, you're still in quite a risky situation unless you can hit him with a grenade. Not gonna happen. Well, best chance is to not get flanked. Oh, you still got the shot. Oh, fuck. Thanks. 
Oh yeah, from there he might have vision to this tile, so that move caused the reaction fire. Uh -huh. So she still has an AP grenade. It's really only grenade wars. Ah! Survived that, lucky bastard. Okay, pawn. I think... I think you need to run soon. Oh, 45, that's good. Yeah, how about pistol? 26 only. It's really a lot worse than this. How's your grenade? Uh, hmm. Let's not try to hit it, please. Oh yeah! German efficiency right there. So now only one is in Overwatch and we can use Pang Pan! <laughs> Remove it. Excellent. Forty four. Let's take a risk with Harrington. And hello to the stream chat. And of course you don't have any shot from there. Of course. And why is that? I guess line of sight must be blocked. Ah well. Should have guessed that. Who else can still us attack that? That alien there. I'm all over it. Yep. Do try. Yeah. Oh, Not a surprise. Mm, that was slightly bad. Well, that should be protected from that guy. I'm on the move. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Try it. Ah. Come on. You're gonna get flanked. Not quite. That's fine. Okay, Harrington, why didn't you get Overwatch shot? get a flank to go with this yeah oh yeah can you do this dude can you do this nice Uh, 
Let's see. She's the only one who can reach that enemy. But I guess there might be more enemies still. But that is a really good chance to kill it, so I'm gonna take it no matter what. Good, no more enemies. Oh yeah, kill it! Yeah! Oh yeah. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Oh yeah. Flawless. <laughs> Almost. Commander to the research lab. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Uh, okay, she became assault, and he became heavy. Commander Pun is a heavy that's fast. To the research labs. Scout sniper. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. I'm out order assigned classes. I, I thought I could pick them. I don't understand. And I have to forget about these icons. They don't mean anything anymore. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Assault. Okay. Ah, random subclass. That's how it works. So, um Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. How does this work? Let me just open up some information. Still having a difficulty understanding this. Okay, I'm still getting told it's not. There's no subclass. Commander to the research labs. Okay. Yeah. So I understand now that it's. This will just randomize the actual class.
Ah, uh, so by picking something other than that random, I pick a path. So in here, from what I see, is that it would be Valkyrie if I take light em up, or assault if I take run and gun. Mm, I would really like to know about this before I make any decisions. Commander to the re No, Valkyrie is actually. Yep, I'm back. Yeah, I just got told. And infantry is light em up. Yeah. Right. Right, okay. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. And this is pretty much the bullet swarm of the vanilla and run and gun is what it's used to be. So let's see. What are the I had I had a good picture somewhere showing what my choices. Well, I have the the uh, training roulette, so there are some choices in the the abilities that are static. Found it. Yeah, so um, for infantry, there is a total of 15 random perks or abilities, whatever you call them. And for certain, there are choices for suppression, sentinel, and rapid fire after the light em up. And for assault, there's Total random 14, and uh, there's uh, guaranteed choices rapid fire, close encounters, killer instinct, and lightning ref reflexes, and master sergeant. Interesting stuff, this. I, I shouldn't actually. I shouldn't actually try to make any builds because I don't know what's gonna come anyway sort of know what part of stuff will be coming so that's good but yeah she's the expendable so she's also the experimentable run and gun Commander to the research lab. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. So, I would get a field medic right out of the bat. That is really labs. good. Labs. Oh, I just realized field medic is the only medic. I mean the class is chosen with the field medic. The other is grenadier which will become an engineer. 
That also sort of tickles my fancy there. Let's see, I have two supports. Let's compare. 32 will, good for a medic. 64 aim. Furthermore, is that move? I think it's move. 12, 32, 64. 13, 25, 66. Oh, and more defense too. He's got more health. More like a... I think, yeah. Better to make him the engineer. German engineer. Commander to the research labs. Commander oh, yeah. to the research labs. And she'll become our blonde nurse. Not saying anything more. Let's see, a special sniper scout sniper. Are dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Oh, I understand now. Scout sniper means it's either st scout or sniper. And weapons, I guess, is gunner or rocketeer. Sort of silly. Doesn't it, it's not consistent there? Squad side lightning. Ref oh, lightning reflexes would be so nice. Look at that guy. He's quite damn ugly. Hmm. High will though. Okay, aim. Normal movement. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. So, with a squad side you become a sniper, and with lightning reflexes you become a scout. You're not a fast mover, so I don't think scout is good for you. Let's take squad side. And for you, the heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Mr. Bob, with the goatee. Not too awesome aim, high health, okay movement. Okay, we'll bad defense. Suppression makes you a gunner. Obviously with the rocket. What happens? Yeah, he's got huge movement. This this guy also doesn't look really that Asian. It's, uh, he's fine. He's got well, high movement is already quite damn good. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. What was the other guy? I mean, thirty, thirteen, thirty-six, fifty-nine, fifteen. 2959 I guess I want a high movement rocket here Yeah That would make sense And you will become the gunner. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. 
Right. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. What did we have only one metal canister there? Or did the other get destroyed? I actually didn't notice. Oh well. Got some fragments. Why materials? I don't see any alloys. Oh well. Right. Let's Every see. member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Several members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Om nom. High income is nice. So we have four here. Commander to the research labs. Commander Ooh. to the research labs. They cost a lot. Twenty-five soldiers. I think we might need to get some more quite soon. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of, let's not watch those. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want Steam to vent. our facilities, oh yeah, that's all. All right. The base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. That is quite good. I mean, I've seen it on the second row, but that is just fine. Okay, sword of shotgun in place of a pistol. That's good. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Oh, shivs from the get-go. That seems really nice. Relatively cheap too. And let's not watch those. Right. Okay, Commander, I've got the weapon in there. I'll end here. First, See you later.